Alrighty, today I'm going to show you guys how to use in-text citations in Microsoft Word. Um, I'm running the old version of Word, um, but it's pretty much the same for all versions of Word on Mac. Um, on Windows, it's going to look a little bit differently, but there's still the same features um, for the Windows version. Um, so if you've ever had to write a paper for high school or um, college or anything like that, you know that sometimes in-text citations um, in the APA formatting um, can be a little bit difficult and time-consuming, and sometimes you don't know the exact formatting. Well, Word takes care of that for you. Um, in this feature, you're going to go in and you're going to add all your sources that you've used, and uh, it's going to be very simple to add in a little citation every time you type, um, and you want to cite one of your sources, it's going to be very easy to do that. Um, so in this video, I will show you how to add the citation first of all, and then, um, or how, sorry, how to add the source, and then how to add the citation into the text. So let's look at Microsoft Word here. Um, you're going to need your toolbox open. So first of all, you're going to click on your toolbox. And the citations tab is this one that looks like two books. And so you're going to click on the citations, and I've made one here. Um, already just to show you but if you want to create a new one you'll click this little plus button but let's just go in and add, edit the one I already have here so you can edit the sources down here by this little menu and you're gonna come in and you're gonna say what type of source it is so let's just say I'm using a book and you'll type in your author the title the city um, the publisher in the year are your required fields however you can go in and add a number of different um, lines wherever whatever you need if you want the editor the translator, anything like that, you can go in and edit. So once you've done this, you're going to click OK, and you're going to see that your sources are going to all pile up right in this little list over here. And uh, you can have as many as you want um, from any different type of source, um, whatever you need. So then let's say you're going through and you're typing your paper, and I just put this little quotation in here. Let's say the book says, you know, using Word can be very easy and fun. Um, and let's say that this came from this source over here. All you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're just going to double tap it and it's going to plug in that citation um, for you easily and it's going to be right in there um, in the format that you want. I mean, as you can see in the citations tab over here, you can choose any style, whether it be APA, MLA, Chicago, um, whatever you would need. Um, APA is pretty standard, so is MLA. So let's say we're using APA. And uh, so right there, you'll already have your in-text citation formatted and inputted for you. Now, let's say you're all done with your paper and you need a bibliography. This is also very simple to add in. Um, you're going to click on this little document elements tab. And you're going to see you have uh, options for cover page, table of contents, header, footer, or bibliography. Um, so if I want to add in a works cited, you're just going to click that. And it's going to take all your sources that you have over on the right and put them into a works cited for you. Um, It'll alphabetize them if you have multiple, and it'll do that all for you. Um, so doing the formatting of in-text citations in the work side, it can just be kind of a drag um, and time consuming. So this um, element of Word really makes it easy, really makes it simple, and uh, has saved me numerous hours on papers that I've done in college. So I hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial, and uh, it'll save you lots of time in the future.